hello friends in this video i am going to show you how we can send message from librarian side and student will get notification regarding that and after click on notification student can read this read that message so first of all we need to create one table in mysql so you can see i already opened this php myadmin and this is our database in this database i am going to create one new table table name is messages and i am going to take field sits field so i'm selecting here sits then go yeah now here we need to pass our column name so first column name is id then we need s username so it is known as source username and then we need d username so it is known as destination so here <coughs> when librarian uh, send message on that time librarian name uh, should be inside this s username and d username should be the uh, student username now we need title this is for a title of uh, one type of email now msg it is known as message and read and this is for a student this read or not because we want to do notification i will show you now here primary okay now open increment then this all fields we need where here so i'm going to take here where here and here also we need where here and now i am going to click save now oh yeah read is a reserved word so we are going to take read one we need to change this name from read to read one read one and now i am going to save so yeah we have now six field now we are going to create one new page in library inside so in this library inside i am going to create one new page uh, we are going to take name send notification student oh yeah now we need to copy all the code from demo copy and i am going to paste here oh yeah good now we need to include here one file name connection so i am going to include connection.php and now here we need to give title now i am going to open this page so yeah so you can see we have this page now here uh, we need to take one form tag for uh, add our text box and everything so here i am going to take form from this head book we need to copy form that from here okay i copy just this paste over here now i am going to complete table and then i am going to complete form. now i am going to check here yes we get here one text box so now we need 
our first field is id but for id we do not require anything now as username we will take from session so this is also not required but now we need d username so for d username we are going to take drop down select and here we are going to new uh, class and control and now here we need uh, uh, inside this data from our database so we need to pass here select query so i am going to take here select query mysql i query and here we need to pass the link select star from we need to take data from this student table so i am going to open the student registration table so table name is student underscore registration and now we need to move your loop minus qli feature and then we need a dollar res and now we need to move this option inside this and between these we need to pass the value from table sorting info dollar and we need username so we are going to take your username and also for com comfortable to librarian we are going to bind here okay. we need to bind here enrollment number also so for enrollment number we need to take enrollment number field e n r o w l m e n yeah. now i am going to check we are getting this or not oh yeah so you can see here we get username plus uh, enrollment number so library can easily find who is this and now but uh, we want to save in database only username so in value we need to pass only username so i am going to copy this and going to paste here okay and now we need to give your name i am going to pass here on the username yeah this is for destination username so we take this and now we want to take um, for title so we need one text box so we need to take a more tr and then we need td and here we need to pass text box and the title and we need to pass here class no control and here we are going to check yeah we get here this text box also and now we need uh, one text box for message so i am going to copy this and now i am going to paste here and here you can take uh, text area also area here we need to give name i am going to give name message and we are going to name your class and for this class i am going to take uh, form control and now i am going to check so you can see we have here for message and i am going to take your placeholder oh yeah placeholder is not working inside this but don't worry uh, you can write like this also if this is not working then we are going to write here message i am going to pass here here so we are getting here message and now uh, we need uh, one more uh, text box for uh, read but we are not going to take this because this is uh, we are going to pass directly on table so this text box we need now we are going to take one tr one td and now we are going to take input type submit input 
type submit then we are going to take name i'm going to take name submit one and then we are going to take value and send a message okay now we are going to check we get this yeah we get button and now we if, if you want 100 percent with a button like this test box then you need to take your uh, class form control but right now it is not required so i am going to take here php text but before okay no problem we can write here if is set the underscore post submit one and now here we need to pass insert query but before insert query we need to check we take inside the session or not so yeah we, you can see here we take here session so i'm going to copy this session name so because we need to insert this in our insert query and now again i need to log in one time and here we need to take okay we need to check now uh, we take session start inside header or not no so we need to take session start over here so i am going to take here session start okay mm -hmm. and now we need to log in again okay and now we are going to open our current page okay so now inside this insert query my sql i underscore query and we need to pass in insert query insert into and our table name messages oh yeah insert into messages values and we have six field so this is the first one second one third one fourth one fifth one sixth one the first one is id so we are going to keep this empty and then we need session here so we need to take here dollar underscore session and our session name is librarian again i will go into check session name yeah session name is librarian so i take here library and now here we need to pass the username so for this the username we need to pass our drop down value so our select name is the username so i am going to copy this and we need to paste here dollar underscore post the username now we need title so for title we have named the title title and now we need message so for message we have name msg so i am going to take here underscore post msg and here i am going to take and it means this is not read by student and now here i am going to put one alert We need to location and here we are going to pass. Uh, sorry, not not window location. We need to pass here alert message send successfully. Okay, so now I am going to run this and I am going to add your title. Hello, please submit your books send message message successfully and now we are going to check here we get record inside this table or not oh yeah we are not getting record so we need to comment this and when we are getting this type of error on that time we need to pass here uh, or die here we can pass or die and here we need to pass my SQLI underscore error and here we need to pass the link but i think our error is solved i am going to check this
but yeah we get your message you can see yes username abc division name we are going to send this message to amit then title then message and read one is equal to no now we are going to take here this alert so we are getting this alert when we send message so uh, this way we can save this data inside this table and in next video i am going to show you how we can display this notification to student side and after then we are going to uh, display this message also so watch my next video to display the student side thank you so much for watching my video